come to you live on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. And Jay, these guys are ready to battle. Ed, when you look down on the court, you see their eyes, that burning passion to play this game. Intensity is going to be off the charts. This is why you play the game. Let's go check it out. There's nothing like the pressure, the tension, the feeling before the tip. The Phoenix Suns begin. Here we go, here we go. Substitutions, LA. Substitutions, Phoenix. Spinning shot, won't fall. Another follow, no good. It down off the step back. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way from 18 feet at the buzzer. One quarter down. The Suns have the lead. to the second quarter. Neither team sees control in the first. Some interesting things, though, certainly on display. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they want to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. Here comes the screen. Here's a chance from long range. He got it off in time, but that shot, no good. The follow won't go either. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Has a chance. Deep two there. Won't go. But I don't put that on the shooter, Ed. I put that on the passer. Hey, you have to put your players in the best possible position to score the ball. You know that's not a strength of his. Missed that one. The defender was all over him. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Off the assist. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. The assist on number zero, Sundarius Thornwell. Easy path to the rim. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Clippers have the basketball. Oh, yeah. me and you, me and you. The drive, right to the basket, right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. And whether you're moving north or south or east or west, you got to be able to keep pace with the ball carrier and most importantly, stay in his chest. That's on the defender. It's way too early to be fatigued. Deep three at the buzzer. First half comes to an end. The Suns have the lead. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Josh Jackson snatching it out of the air. Can't connect from inside. Suns with the basketball. it down with authority he climbed the ladder on that one well the question is how big is the ladder he's still climbing match up, match up, match up. driving right to the basket he cruises in for two too easy in the paint you need to finish 
just like that. And count the basket inside. No doubt about where that one was headed. Here comes the screen. Has a look. Doesn't get the bounce. And it's never a great thing when you're talking to yourself the entire next possession about the shot you just missed. Now you know you're in that player's head mentally. It's LA Clippers ball. I got ball, I got ball. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Ball's tied up. Neither player wants to give it up. Well, as they get ready for the jump, someone's going to come away with the basketball. Trying to cash in. Won't go. He can do better than that. See, when good shooters catch, they just shoot. When bad shooters catch, they become hesitant, reluctant. That's the first sign of a guy that doesn't have confidence. Desperation shot here from half court. That's the end of the third quarter. The Suns have the lead. It'll be Suns basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. They had the lead coming out of halftime. They were able to extend that lead in the third quarter. A lot of fans and players get consumed with the big plays, but the coaches love seeing their teams continuing to do the little things. That's how you increase the lead. And scores. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. Well, I did, but the defender didn't. From long range, had to rush that one, and it's no good. Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. It's the Clippers with the possession now. Won't go down. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was, so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. Has a chance. Now a shot by Temple. No good. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Good defense. He had nowhere to go. The result, jump ball. After the tie-up, they're in position for the jump ball. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Suns with the victory as they win this one handily. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
the Suns were merciless in this game. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group, and that's what happened here today. Check out the leading scores for the Phoenix. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.